Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. Welcome back! Have you ever wondered how can you keep your audience more engaged? If you did, then this video is definitely for you, because in this video we are going to review an amazing plugin called Opinion Stage and more precisely how to add a quiz or poll to your Elementor post. So if you are ready, let's start! So let's start the revision of the plugin from the very beginning and for that first of all let's open up our laptops and access the WordPress from the backend. Uh, first of all go to plugins then click on add new and on the search line just type opinion stage. Click on install then activate. We are going to review everything related to opinion stage uh, from the WordPress and then at the end of the video I will show you how to add a quiz that you created on opinion stage or a poll that you created on opinion stage to your Elementor post. So here it is, we have to click on activate and here we have the plugin which we can see add quizzes, polls and surveys into your website in seconds. Uh, down below on the same page we have the how to use the plugin video instruction which you can uh, watch later on. We have partners and we have examples of quiz templates, for example personality quiz which we can review here, we can click on start and choose any of the options that we would like. We have examples of poll templates and survey templates, for example the image poll template. But now let's go back and let's get started with the plugin itself and in order to get started we need to create an account. Uh, fill out your name or business name, work email and any password you would like in order to secure the account and just click on the button create a free account. You can click on save changes as well, then choose your role, your business type, uh, your employees and the main goal, for example engage my audience, let's say. Afterward we get to this page where we have uh, create options, we have polls, survey, trivia, quiz, personality quiz and standard form and for, for all of those we have create from scratch templates as well as we have uh, the ready to use templates. In the create from scratch templates we have multiple columns, uh, multiple layouts, we can add any uh, title we have design options, for example, color theme. You can see different color themes here. We have font options and top border options, plain or thick. In the settings, we have general settings, as in every other poll that is also like ready to use but still highly customizable. For example, let's go to templates uh, for the polls and choose list poll single answer. And all we need to do is to click on use the template. Here, for example, first of all, we can um, change the title of the poll. Then choose the layout, but let's leave it at default. And we can even add certain answers as well. Let's change the title to what is your favorite coffee. And replace the answers placements and add one more answer for example i prefer tea in the settings we can allow more than one answer and then specify the number of answers allowed for example two uh, we also have options such as allow users to suggest additional answers display message after vote which is going to be thank you add call to action button which is only for pro version available we have require a social profile vote Block repeat voting based on browser, IP or um, browser and IP and repeat voting, but some of the options are also for the pro. We have allow voting again, let's say after an hour. We have auto scroll to the top after vote and certain answers here. I'll leave the allow users to change vote and the order is configured. Also, you can hide the number of votes 
or choose closed polars with a specific time and European stage branding options which are also for the pro version. So this is basically it. Now all you need to do is to click on create. And preview. Here is how our poll is going to look like. We can click on multiple answers because we allowed it from the default and see the results of the voting right after. Basically users from the front end are going to uh, see the poll in this way. Then we have embedded share from where we can share the script or add it directly to WordPress. However, now let's go back to uh, create and here by the way we have another template for example uh, for surveys and here are multiple surveys we have uh, personality quiz templates the template gallery uh, of the opinion stage is huge and uh, ready to go with as you could have seen we could have customized anything we wanted but at the same time we saved lots of time because we did not create from scratch However, even if you decide to create from scratch, it is extremely easy. Just click on Pulse, create from scratch. And here, all we have to do is to type the title. We can add an image because visuals are extremely important. Uh, there is image search on Google, uh, my files, Unsplash, Sutterstock, iStock. I'm going to add an image from Unsplash. And let's choose this one. For example, now we have to choose on the format and the size, let's say medium, and let's just add it. As unsplash images are free to use. Uh, now let's add answers. For example, work from home, work from office, and a funny answer, no work at all. Uh, the settings are the same, basically allow more than one answer. Again, I'm going to leave the number at two allow users to suggest additional answers, display message, etc. Other settings I'm not going basically to change. And all I have to do now is to click on create. Mm -hmm. Now we can preview this survey as we did with the last one. We can vote and we are allowed to change the vote as well. However, now let's embed the survey. In order to embed the survey, we need to go over here, then click on WordPress and here is the shortcode for the survey. We need to, co to copy the shortcode. Also, we can copy the shortcode from the My Items page as well, just by clicking on Add to Site and copying the shortcode. Uh, all we need to do now is to go to Post, click on Add New and because we are adding it for Elementor, let's click on Edit in Elementor. And here is the post in Elementor, like the Elementor Builder. Uh, all we have to do is to find the widget shortcodes, and that is extremely easy to do. On the search line, just type shortcode and place it, drag and drop it over here, and enter your shortcode. Then click on Apply. Afterwards, just click on Publish and have a look. Now, as you can see, we have our poll and we can change the votes as well. For example, work from office or no work at all. We can change them once again. So repeat voting is not allowed as we made it from the settings, but choosing more than one answer and changing votes, um, users will be able to do so as we also allow those options from the settings. So as you can see, it is extremely easy to uh, add a uh, add a quiz or any poll to your Elementor post just by copying and pasting the shortcode in the Elementor widget shortcode. So guys, this was all I wanted to tell you. If you like this video, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. See you in the next video. Bye!